The controversial case of former DOC corrections officer Frankie Roslin has been brought into the light yet again after it was confirmed that he's currently working as a program coordinator too at the Port Authority of Guam. In August of 2019, Roslin pled guilty to official misconduct as a misdemeanor for his role in the 2017 DOC drug conspiracy cases. In addition, Roslin is also in a relationship with the sister of Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio, who made it clear that he had no part in Roslin's new position at the port. I did not have a role in the hiring, and if you know our family, I've never even had a conversation with Frankie about his case. The only things I've ever talked to him about is expect, ex, uh, expressing um, you know, some sorrow for the, what it's done to the family and then relief when it was done. I didn't even know he applied for a job until he already had an interview. And at that point, I took myself for sure out of that. And he's going to have to go and compete in the merit system and figure that out. So, you know, when the senators are talking about official misconduct, obviously he played by the rules. There's no rule that barred him. Elected officials are under constant scrutiny and rightfully so, being that they hold the role of public servant. But the scrutiny doesn't just stop at the official, according to Lieutenant Governor Tenorio. To be honest with you, I don't really want any of my personal family members or their relatives to work in the government because of this attention that they get. But I can't control that. And he went and got his job fair and square. And he's trying to rebuild his life for his seven children. As for his take on those who have history of official misconduct being rehired to a different position within GovGuam? People charged with official misconduct, I guess, will be the policy of the legislature. If they want to pass that as an exclusion, barring people from employment, um, and it gets the public support, then it's the law and we abide by the law. We're supposed to try and recover people's lives. We don't throw people away when they make mistakes. Now, whether or not they should be entitled to apply for a government job being a public servant, surely that is something that the policymakers will have to determine. Now, Roslyn remains employed by the Port Authority of Guam. The probation office confirms that since entering the plea, Roslyn has completed all the terms and conditions. He was sentenced to a two-year probation period that ends in August 2021.